Hello children, good morning and welcome back to online Sunday school. I hope you all are doing well. Children, have you all seen a crucifix? They are of different sizes, colors and materials. In a crucifix, you can see the body of Jesus, head bent or erect, eyes open or closed, the crown of thorns on the head, the hands and feet nailed and the blood oozing out. I would like you all to look at this crucifix in silence. Continue to gaze at Jesus on the cross. Why do you think Jesus died on the cross? Jesus died because he loves you and me and all the people very much. Children, join your hands and bow your heads to Jesus on the cross. In this lesson, we will see how Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Let us see a video of Jesus' death. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus ah, come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. <coughs> and the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. What? <laughs> but the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own.
Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. After Jesus had eaten the Passover meal with his disciples, he took Peter, James and John to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus was troubled. He asked his disciples to keep watch while he prayed. But the disciples fell asleep. Jesus prayed for strength to do his Father's will. After praying, Jesus came outside. He saw a band of men armed with swords and sticks coming towards him. They seized Jesus, tied his hands and took him away. His disciples ran away. The men took Jesus to the high priest and then to Pilate to be judged. The chief priests and their followers shouted for the death of Jesus. So Pilate signed the order for Jesus to be put to death on a cross. Jesus was mocked beaten with whips and made to carry a cross. When they reached a hill called Calvary, they took off his clothes and nailed him to the cross. Jesus hung on the cross for three hours. He forgave his enemies. At about three o'clock, Jesus bowed his head and died. Children, now let us watch a video of how Jesus rose again. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day. And ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? Hey, oh! Ah! And then, for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. Oh, yeah! He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Two friends of Jesus, Joseph and Nicodemus, asked Pilate's permission to bury the body of Jesus. They took down the body of Jesus, wrapped it in a cloth, and laid it in a new tomb. 
दे रोल्ड अ हैवी स्टोन अगेंस्ट इट अर्ली ऑन संडे मॉर्निंग सम वुमेन वेंट टू द टोम ऑफ जीजस दे फाउंड द स्टोन रोल्ड अवे सो दे वेंट इन but they did not find the body of jesus they were puzzled suddenly two men in bright shining clothes stood by them and told them that jesus had risen from the dead they ran to tell the good news to jesus's friends when peter and john heard the news they ran quickly as fast as they could to the tomb they went in the body of jesus was no longer there only the linen cloth which covered him was lying there they went back amazed at what had happened Jesus was alone in his suffering the disciples had left him he suffered like we human beings suffer he had done no wrong yet he was put to death but this was not the end for him he rose again this gives us hope because what happened to him will happen to us we too shall rise again children sit straight take a comfortable posture place your palms on your lap facing upwards close your eyes breathe in and breathe out breathe in slowly and breathe out now pay attention to the word of god a reading from the holy gospel according to luke very early in the morning the women went to the tomb carrying the spices they had prepared they found the stone rolled away from the entrance to the tomb so they went in but they did not find the body of jesus they stood there puzzled about this when suddenly two men in bright shining clothes stood by them he is not here he has been raised they said the word of the lord thanks be to god
the women believed and were so happy they ran to tell the disciples the good news Jesus is risen Let us rejoice with the women and the disciples and believe that Jesus is our risen God On Easter Sunday we celebrate the feast of the risen christ children let us get ready for an action song children join your hands and close your eyes let us say a prayer resurrected lord you conquered the grave you came in the form of a humble man but rose into glory the risen savior is what gives us hope give us the opportunity to share this good news with others in jesus' name we pray amen children do you know what is an easter egg the easter egg is probably the best sign of easter do you know why the hard shell for the egg is like a cradle for the chick inside when the chick is ready to come out of the egg 
it uses its beak to break the shell and comes out alive just as jesus came out of the tomb alive so children it's time for your activity you are going to draw easter eggs some examples are given on the board so take care dear children have a nice day stay home stay safe stay blessed bye bye